In 2015, the Jaguars offense was one of the most surprising developments in the NFL. And now in year two of Greg Olson's offense, they know that the bar has been raised. I mean, that's what you live for. You know, I mean, I mean, uh, you live for, you know, the, the lights, the expectations. You know, that's what you play this game for. If there was no expectations, we wouldn't be doing what we're supposed to be doing. I mean, obviously, we, every, we haven't had the outcome that, that we've wanted, um, you know, since we've been here, and, and everybody knows that. But I think it's cool to have the added hype, the added pressure, the added whatever, uh, because people see the potential. By the end of last season, the Allen brothers were on everybody's fantasy football team and they feel like they're nowhere near their ceiling. When you look at our young offense in general, you know, we're not a satisfied group. You know, I mean, we had a decent year last year, you know, but I don't think we're satisfied by any means. You know, man, Adam Robinson, we talk about that all the time. We know we had good years last year, but we know that we got to come out here and improve from that. You know, you no know guy's going to be tuned in until our passing game. The yards we had last year, it didn't look too good in the win column. So the main thing for us is just be more effective and get more wins. Hearn said that next week's draft is a yearly reminder of just how far he's come. Now, he's in line for a contract extension, but he says that right now, he's not worried about any of that. He'll let his agent, Dave Caldwell, handle that so that he can focus on football. Brian Jackson, Channel 4, the local station.